What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. It's time for some shuffle. Beep, 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 keep too. I finally, I got the, uh, I got the unlock, so we can actually play the full game now. We're not locked to an hour anymore. And so I figured we would dive straight on in and we play ourselves some shopkeep before it comes out on May 3rd, I guess. It got pushed back by about a week. So let's go ahead and make a character real fast. We did this last time, but I think we can do it again. What is our character's gun? I don't know what our, I don't know what our character's name should be. It should be Mega Merch. There we go. That's what, I, that's a name right there that inspires that hairstyle though. Hold on, there we go. We gotta get like the Ginger Jesus going on. I am Ginger, I'm Ginger Jesus, gentle, mild. And then our eye color, I'm gonna make it brown. Skin color, we gotta get a little bit of a tan, like we've been out in the sun or something, you know what I mean? Like, we can't be, we can't be, look, like, that's just too pale, dude. Like, when was the last time you saw sunlight? Like, go to the beach, man. It's California. You gotta get some sunlight in. Everybody got that sun bronze out here, man. It's just the sun's too intense, you can't get away with it without it. You got them 115 degree days, you'd be out there cooking. You gotta get tan, otherwise you die. Uh, what do we have here? So I've got, oh, I can go with different hairstyles. Okay, let's see what's going on. We got deep bald. Not just bald, I'm bald and deep. I've read Nietzsche. Uh, we've got slider, we've got the mid hair. I don't, ooh, we got the fro right there though. The fro's pretty dope. I'll probably just go with something classical. That's like the hairstyle that was popular when I was in high school. Like you would sweep the hair forward and then right at the front you hit with a comb straight up in the air. And then maybe if you were a little punk rock, you take your fingers and you twist in little spikes. That was how it went back in the 90s, son. That's how we got it done. I had them chaos spikes, though. I had my hair growing out maybe like six inches. Then you hit that thing with like some pomade or like some egg whites or something. You'd be like, bow! I'd be like the lead singer of Sum 41. Mistakes were made. I like scars. Scars are cool. I got a scar on my face, so I always put a scar on my character's face, too. Eyebrows. You gotta have big, beefy man. That's a bit too much. That's not brows. That's a brow. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. We need that one right there. We can go with the Fu Manchu and some mutton chops. We can go with like a little full beard right there. We've got tattoos as well. Oh, that's right, he had the neck tattoo right there. You got, you got a neck tattoo because we done time. Oh, we can be a kitty cat. And I meow, 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 and I meow, meow, meow. Upper body wise, is this just like for me to be swole? Oh, we can put tats on, okay. I don't know why you would get a cloud done right there. It doesn't even say anything in the middle. Like normally if you're gonna do a cloud right there, you put like some old English font across it or something like that. Like what he need to do is he needs to get like an orc over here with like a blunt and then he's blowing the smoke cloud and then over here there's like a dirty Imperial Guardsman just like coughing and being like <laughs> and the orc's just like, oh got you you little git. Okay, that's cool. What other tattoo stuff? Oh I can have chest hair too. Yeah, let's be fuzzy. Let's be there we go, that's what I'm talking about. We gotta have that man we gotta be man chested. You want some ribs? What? <laughs> Oh, yep, I'm all about that money. We're gonna get the treasure chest right there, and then we gotta put a little target in the bottom center of our back. You'll never die. Oh, it's health potions, gotcha. Gotcha. I don't, I don't know, man. There we go, we'll get him fitted up with the tramp stamp. We got it covered. And then, left arm, dude, we're gonna be tatted. There's a whale, I'm gonna go with the whale. I like the whale. Can I have a whale on this side, too? That's too much coloration, dude. I'm a fan of tattoos. I love to, you can have hand tattoos, bruh, we done time in the joint now, we got them hand tattoos going on, yup, get it, get it, how many tattoos can I put on one character, as far as pants go, we can have palm trees, that's kind of SoCal, but I'm feeling it, we'll do it, we'll do it, oh, we can have like, oh, we can just be straight nude, okay, I think I'm gonna have to go with the brief, son, I don't know, man. At a certain age, I was rocking boxers, right? But at a certain age, you have to swap back to the boxer briefs. You got to keep it tight, man. Especially, like, if you do a lot of leg day, like a lot of running and stuff like I do, you got to you gotta show off them calves and them thighs, dude. You be putting on them, like, them boxer briefs just like, pow! You got, like, that W shape right above your knee. You got to show that thing off if you put the effort in to get it. I don't really care about foot tattoos, so I'm not going to do that. We're a little, like, over-tatted. There's not a whole lot of theme going on with these tattoos. Oh, well. Let's go ahead, and it's time for us to play the game. Well, my old world is still here. We'll go ahead and, like, we'll do the we'll do the new car. New, so what, I can have, like, a, I want my shield to look like that right there. And then, I don't want it to have a skinned face on it. A wolf is pretty dope, though. Uh, that's pretty baller out, right? That's pretty baller right there. 
Get Money Empire. There it is. All right, you are the proud owner of the original shopkeep. We would like to give you a keepsake hat as a thank you. Yeah, I, I would love to have a keepsake hat. Let me have a dope ass hat, dude. That's like, that's way more dope than my current. I mean, it doesn't match my colors right now, but it makes you look like a character from Fable. And for some reason, that's attractive to me. So we've got the Get Money Empire over here. We've got our building. Let's go ahead and take a look at our shop and see what we've got going on here. We can unlock the sprint skill. I'm not really too worried about that. It doesn't look like I need to fix anything over here. Everything's looking good. So instead, I don't want that to be open right now. My little Monopoly Man sign can stay right where it's at. Does the Monopoly... What was his name? Uncle Penny... Uh, Uncle Pennywise? What's the Monopoly Man's name? Is it Uncle Pennywise? I can't remember his name now. This is going to bother me. So we've got Sir Washington over on this side. He's got some quests and things like that that we can go ahead. I'm back and I want more gold. Yeah, that doesn't... That doesn't surprise me, man. I want more gold as well. We've got a rock on a stick, which is apparently a weapon. I will take the rock on a stick. Apparently I missed that the last time I played the game, but now I have a rock that has been attached to a stick by strings and duct tape or whatever. Town management. Can't really do a whole lot from over here. Instead, we need to go to our order scroll. And is there anything that I can order from here? I don't see anything that I can order. Instead... I think we might have to Father Edward. Dude, he's got that baller chain right there. That's the only reason that I would join the church. Is if I could have like a baller chain of my religious symbol that goes on over my robe. And then that thing swang when I'm like getting into the homily or whatever's going on. When I'm swinging back and forth and the church is like lighting it up with those three-part harmonies. And I'm swinging the chain. Just swing side to side. Side to side. We got a furniture vendor over here. Let's go talk to Waddy Harold. Now we have... Couple of pedestals we can buy. Okay. Yeah. Is it cheaper for my order scroll now? Like, we've got a red mask. Not much is known about this item. Maybe we'll have to find a better description. I'll tell you what that was. That was what every level 20 rogue in World of Warcraft wore once they got that Defias mask. To drop off the random mod, you have no idea how much time I spent farming to get that mask randomly. It was constant. I've only got like a little bit, I don't know if we just sell water bottles. You know, I'm all about big money. I'm all about big money, so let's sell some shoes. I'm trying to, I'm trying to earn that guap gouda cheddar change. Back to the shop up a beep 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 beep. We're gonna head on back over this way. We're gonna get some stuff sold. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna get paid up, man. We're gonna get paid. We're gonna be living in the shade real, real soon. We're going to that straight double wide in the sky as soon as possible. That kind of makes it sound like I'm gonna die. Maybe that won't. Maybe that won't be the goal here. Let's go ahead and put that in right there. And then I think if we have... Oh, yeah, my order's not here yet. I got to go pick it up. I think it's inside this building over here. Pretty sure, anyways. What is this machine right here? A grinder. Okay. Well, if I, if I need a boyfriend at any time in the future, I'll let you know, grinder. But for right now, I can't have my mercantile instincts being muddied by my sexual desires. So, you know, thanks but no thanks. Let's go ahead, and this costs 29. Let's put it up for 30. What can I get away with? We'll try 131 right there. How about that? And so we'll try that right there. Can I sell the hat too? Is the hat sellable? Oh, uh, the hat has no value. Weak. Opens a shop. Splatty needs money. Dude, why does he look so coy? He's like, tee hee hee. You're definitely not going to get diddled when you come in here. Bro, that sign, that's not a good look right there. That's not a good look. Unlock the sprint skill by placing displays in the shop. I don't think I have any skills right now. Movement. We're like moving along right now. Oh, I can just unlock it. Oh. Well, I got 50 bucks for that, so that's pretty cool. Can I just order a pedestal? I can't order a pedestal just yet. Okay. I do want to sell one of these masks. That costs 80 right there. I bet this guy's going to come in and I bet he's going to buy our stuff. I can tell. He's got that somber look in his eye. That look that a man gets when he knows he needs to buy some J's. And he needs to buy them right now. He needs to buy them right this second so that his feet will be fleet when he hits the street. He'd be looking leet and neat. And he'd be like, skeet! I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he, he walked away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Come and buy my shoes and you should stay. Don't run away. No walk away. They walked away. Sigh. And what is a man to do? What is a man to do? 
When people walk away without buying his shoes. When he's been left with the blues. And nothing but bad news. Uh, I need... Yeah, let me see. You got any new stock? Let's see what's going on. My stock is limited. As I upgrade, I'll get more to sell. Okay. Get me another pedestal. How much money do I have right now? I got $42. Order me another pair of shoes, please. Yep, another pair of shoes. We gotta get we gotta get some money moving. I don't know if I need to reprice some stuff. Maybe my prices are a tad too high. Maybe they're above the level that most people are comfortable paying for. But we'll sort it out. We'll get it figured. And let's see here. We've got a couple seconds till our shoes get delivered. I'm just a man running around with a broom and a plan all across the land. Got some shoes right there. Let's hoof it on back to the base. I get the six and I can put down another pedestal so that we actually have more things to sell. I'm gonna open up right now. There we go. Furniture can only be placed when the shop is closed. Oh, well ain't that some shit. Okay. Never mind then. I wonder if that has to do with like memory or like why does it... Huh. Maybe the customers are programmed to look at the pedestals like when it starts off let's go ahead and we'll take this down to 121 right there and see if we can make some extra money and then reprice these guys three lower our profit right now only six m only six moons only six moons that's not very many moons but hopefully it'll be enough and here they come the first visitors to our shop you guys want to get some buddha any of that's avertus mono man not duo man, mono man, in case you didn't know. Come on, get up in here, buy this stuff. If you try to steal from me, though, I will smack you with this large rock on a stick. It's not the most effective weapon, okay? But it is a weapon nonetheless. Oh, we sold some boots. Did I just get robbed? They just thanked me. But I may have helped them out by allowing them to rob me. I don't know. We got to get some money together, dude. We're kind of broke right now. I'm trying to find myself something so like, why is this thing stuck on my screen right now? There we go. I knew I could get rid of it. It just needed to go somewhere. And so I think from here, the money goes straight into our vault. Yeah. Let me get some money back real quick. Because I'm trying to get paid. I'm trying to make that money. And now that we have a little bit more cash to play around with. I don't know if I should just go with pedestals or if I should sell water. I don't know what's a good idea here. This guy used to have quests, but I guess not. He used to have mega merch. You might want to go outside of town and explore your surroundings. Okay, let's go outside of town and see if we can whack something with a stick. He said we could go outside of town. I heard that there's like quests and dungeons and stuff like that you can do in this game too. And then you can bring the stuff that you loot back to your shop and you can sell it that way. In order to save money so that you're just not like flipping and whipping and dipping and getting all that cash. Uh, I can't go out right there. So let me see if I can find the the exit maybe. Maybe I can jump off of this thing up here. Let's go find out. There's a town guard over there. How do I get to leave town? Well, I can't go out that way, but there's definitely stuff out there. There's stuff and there's people. Huh. Can I jump off this way? No. Fine then. I didn't want the freedom of movement. It looks to me as though all the gates that go outside the town are closed. Yeah, I've basically gone to every corner and taken a look, and I'm pretty sure they're all closed. So let's see what we can sell here. We got water bottles. We have enough for the red mask. We can see what kind of money we can make about that. Yeah, go ahead and order a red mask. I realize I'm putting myself at great financial risk by essentially just buying one glowing gemstone to occupy my shelves. But maybe somebody will buy it. What is this? It says, it is actually all fine. Read the event information. Nothing seems different than usual. Carry on. Now, we also have our tax report, which, against all manner of privacy, has been posted on a public bulletin board outside of our shop. Has he paid his bills? He's paid his bills. Uh, let's see here. We've got zero days passed since opening. We can hover over an object on the map right now. I can't really do much to upgrade my shop. We've got the alchemist over there, but we need more money before that's going to happen. What does this guy have to say? Uh, if What is ethereals? They're long forgotten, or at least they were. This changes things. There are ruins of ancient worship sites built by ethereals west of town. Last time anybody saw an ethereal was when the town flew red flags long, long ago. Okay. I don't know if that's important right now. 
But it sounds to me like we're going to have to deal with some shenanigans pretty soon. The only shenanigans I want to deal with right now is making more money. I'm thinking that selling masks is going to be the best way to get myself all nice and strapped up with some cash. We go with those big budget items right here. All right, so to set the price on this thing, it's worth 80. Let's go with like I don't know. It seems like things sold okay at 125. Let's go for 100. Let's see if we can get 100 out of it. If we can get 100 out of it, that'd be pretty dope. Like, we'll, we'll modify the price if nobody's being a taker. Like, if nobody's trying to grab anything to buy, but we can also put the boots over here, I guess. And it saved our price from last time. They did sell at that price last time. I don't know if we could eat that up ever so slightly. But there it is. Let's wait for some more customers to come in. Oh, we got a stream of people coming in right now. That's right. Get on in here. It's time to midnight shop and bop till you drop. Get up in here in this spot and get it. That's what I'm talking about. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. Get up in here and buy some stuff. Bow! Getting paid. And she put that thing straight on like a bandit. She was like, yo, what are we stealing? I heard the word steal. What are we trying to steal? What are we trying to do right now? And this is how it starts to roll. That only leaves us with, we got to pay taxes at some point too. That's gonna suck. We do have to pay, it's like a new mechanic in this game. You gotta pay sales tax or whatever. It doesn't come off automatically. You have to be like good about it and you gotta pay your taxes. So inside of our vault, we got 135. What are my taxes right now? What do I owe? I owe eight in taxes. All right, we'll go ahead and pay our taxes because that's how you level up your management, I think. And then we will withdraw the remainder of our cash. Pow. And then we gotta make some orders. Obviously, we're gonna go with another red mask. We made a bunch of money off of it. I don't have the money for anything else. I wonder, like, if water bottles are a good investment. Go ahead and, like, get me, like, 10 water bottles. And then the total price is 139 I can't afford that right now. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll sell another mask. And we'll sell a bunch of water bottles. And we'll kind of just see. I wonder if I can get three bucks out of the water bottles. They cost, like, what, one? Oh, they cost three. So, like, I wonder if I can get six out of them. I wonder if I can double up on them or if I'm only going to get, like, four or five out of them. We'll try five, and we'll see what happens, but I'm pretty sure nobody's going to buy them for five. It might be a little bit too high. Let me get this set up, and we'll see if we can make a little bit more cash. All right, so we got a couple of looky-loos. Everybody looks sexy. I'm going to make sure. Uh, Theodore, make sure you got pants on before you come on out and help the customers. I know that your proclivities towards displaying dong tend to get us into trouble here. So she bought the mask. We got 100 bucks for that. The mask is worth a decent amount, and so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to place that right there. It looks like they're about to buy at five, maybe? Hey, they're buying at five. Fantastic. I'm going to liquidate as many of... Actually, we might as well just order some more stuff while we're here. I would like to open my order scroll, and I would like to get... See, I don't know if it's better off. Like, we get 20 per purchase on top of each of these masks. Like, we get a bunch of money for the masks. Like, we... It's just, it's the equivalent of selling multiple water bottles, you know what I mean? I don't know, let me sell off the remainder of the water bottles and we'll see how it goes. I gotta be honest though, $5 for a bottle of water is kind of expensive, man. Like, that's, we're on some Fiji life right there. We're selling that water that's for the highbrows. That stuff that they bring out to the restaurant table inside one of those decanters. Still, like, it's selling. I mean, people are coming in infrequently and grabbing it. It's not too big of a deal. I'm going to run down to the vault while I got a second and grab my money so that I can reorder some more stuff. I don't think anybody's going to try and steal from us right now anyways. Let me get the remainder of my moons out. And now that I've got 135 bucks, we do have a quest to place two more displays. And I think we're going to get paid if we do that. So let me go ahead and I'm going to close the shop down real fast. These guys can go do what they're going to do. I do like the passive skill leveling like Skyrim style, how your movement goes up and everything else. And how you pay taxes, you actually get management levels and things of that nature. I really, really like that change. But in fact, the first Shopkeep was one of those games that I fell in love with. Shopkeep 2 is probably going to be no different. It's just like expanded Shopkeep 1. I mean, it's just Shopkeep 1 with more stuff. What do you have going on? Why do you have... You have quests? What's up with your quests? A pedestal order. I'll buy buy more pedestals from me and I'll let you order them on your own. Yeah, sure. Why not? Two quests for pedestals. And go figure. I was about to do pedestal stuff right now. I was about to do that thing. And so we just hit two birds with one stone. I don't know if I could hit a bird with a rock. Birds are kind of spry around here. You might be able to get one of those crows that's always like begging and acting like an asshole. What I really want to do because I live in the city is I want to train a crow to collect quarters for me. That's what I really, really want to do. 
create one of those boxes that like pays the crow in food. They have those. It's like a box and it pays the crow in food. That's kind of messed up right there. Can I move that? I can place remove. I can set the price. How do I? There we go. That's what I wanted is I wanted to remove it and then we'll scoot it a little bit. There we go. We'll scooty it on up. And so we got that done right there. We sold some water. We finished that quest off, which gave us a bunch of cash to play around with. In fact, it gave us enough it gave us enough money for two masks. So let's make some money here. That is the point of the game, after all. We can actually order our own pedestals for cheaper now, which is great. Order two masks, and then like, I don't know. Maybe a few more water bottles. There we go. The masks are probably going to sell out pretty fast, so I'm not that worried about that. Let's go ahead and open the shop up. I don't think anybody's going to be even... They're not going to be able to get here in time to rob me before that goes back open. I don't know who these people are that are shopping for water bottles and bandit masks at 4 in the morning, but hey. I don't judge people's life decisions. I don't sleep at all. I am beyond a night owl, so I get it. Sometimes you got to stay up late at night and do your thing. I was going to say, I think we got a potential sucker over there, but maybe not. Pull those off right there, and then we'll put in two more masks so that we're selling our high margin items a little bit sooner. And then we'll just kind of keep the water bottles as filler. If some of them get stolen while I'm running around town and doing whatever it is that I'm, like, doing, I'm not really that upset about it. I'm sincerely not that worried about it. This guy's coming on in. What you want to buy? You want to get yourself a you want to get yourself a blood mask over here so that you can like blood walk down the street. You could be a part of something right now. You buy this mask, you're basically in the gang by default. Good choice, my dude. Good choice, my dude. Affiliation never hurt anybody. It's never been a bad idea to affiliate yourself with clandestine crime. It never goes wrong. It always works out. Let's go see while we're waiting for people to come into the shop. I'm going to see if there's a quest or something I can grab over here. What does this guy want? We've got quests. So cook something and a water delivery. Deliver water bottles to doors. And we can get 100 bucks for that. That sounds like a decent plan to me, dude. I'm trying to get paid right now. I am broke as a joke. How many customers do we have coming in? We just got her. I'm going to watch her because she looks a little suspicious. I'm pretty sure she's going to try and steal something. Lady, you going to try and steal something? You better not. Don't you do it. I got my eye on you. Oh, they want that mask right there. Okay. Trying to get that mask. I think we may have better luck if I lower the price on my waters to four. We're not going to make very much money off of it. But, I mean, they're water bottles. You know? It's a water bottle, like. What are you going to do? Uh, we will deliver water over here. If there's another house in the area. Like, how many houses we got over here? That's what I'm talking about. Deliver a couple of these on over. Yup, there it is. Almost got the quest done, but I'm pretty sure we got a customer headed into our shop. And I got to make sure she's not going to be up in here st -st -st stealing, because you know how people in this neighborhood do. It's a rough side of the block, you feel me? It's a little bit ugly in here. People getting a little bit foul, so we got to keep an eye on them. We got $4 coming in right there. Bow. Got that stuff? You are quite welcome. I will slake your thirst all day long, and I will use the word slake. Even though it sounds like a violent word, it's not. Slake is not a violent word. You know, I'm going to slake that dude in the head, though. That does sound like you're going to hit him with a chain or something. You know, catch him upside his head with a smiley. Man, she got fancy lady shoes. See, I think that was the problem, is that my water bottles were priced a little bit too high. Now people are coming from all over to visit my little Nestle workshop. Come with me and you'll see... A world of sweet saturation. Your drinking stuff will be here in my stations. There we go. Put that right there. See, now they're coming in. Now they're coming in. We figured out the secret. We figured out I'm going to close off the shop real quick because I got to deliver this last water so I can get 100 bucks. Hey, man, the pursuit of 100 bucks has been like my life's calling. Sometimes you got to get in there and you got to make 100 bucks. I'm going to sell that water right there. We got 100 muns. Okay, let's go pay our taxes real fast. And then we'll see how much money we have to play around with so that we can make even more money. So tax control, we owe 15 right there. Yeah, go ahead and pay it. Go ahead and do your thing. We got a management level right there, which means 
with one management point, I've got a 10% chance to play less taxes, cheaper blacksmithing recipes, additional rooms for the shop. Oh, so this is like a long-term level up right here. Like, that's one you gotta play the long game on that one. Alright, so we got enough muns now to where I personally feel like we could probably go in. Yep, give me three masks. This is how we start making that real money right here. This is how the real money starts to flow. Got him. And so deliveries, I'm going to need those like right now. Go ahead and bring those on in. I'm going to open the shop in a second. But for right, interact with a trash can. Ooh, there was $99 in the trash can? What? Oh my god, who's throwing away $99, dude? That guy's living a level of extravagance that I just can't even compare to. Like, if you're ever so rich that you're throwing away $99, you ain't living on the same block that I am. That is for surely. Are there any more trash cans around? Dude, I'm just going to spend my time digging around in trash cans. Like, why would I stress myself, you know what I mean? Can I steal these apples over here? No, I can't steal the apples. Where are the trash cans at, though? Oh, I found one. I found one. I found one. Let's do this thing. $51 in a trash can? Dude, I should have just done this in the first place. Why was I messing around trying to actually have a job when you can just be like a hobo dumpster diver and get paid? Like, damn, son, if I knew it was this lucrative to just get money out of the trash, and the best part is it's tax-free. I gotta pay nobody for nothing. There's 39 inside of there. The government can't get my trash money. They want it, but they can't have it. They can't see us. I know they're trying to steal it. I know they're trying to get it. That's for sale, three ninety nine. I'm gonna dig through your trash can. Give me a second. Ooh, hit that one from the right to get the forty five dollars right there. Let me get a few more masks. Let me get some more masks. We're trying to, we're trying to make that good money right now. And the masks have the best margin out of anything else. We're getting twenty bucks every single time we send. Uh, every time, every time we sell one of those masks, we get twenty dollars. That's that good stuff right there. All right, so now we're in the market to make some good money. Some good money. But this is shop up a baby, 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 cape too. I hope you guys enjoyed the play. This is going to be a long-term series. We're going to be playing it quite a bit. It'll be replacing Frostpunk. So I hope that you guys are stoked and in your seats vibrating with giddiness and ready to go and get a little bit of that cash money guap gouda cheddar change. All right, we got to look after our guapamole. We got to do what we got to do. I'll see you all later. Thanks for stopping on in. If you want to get the game for yourself, it comes out on the 3rd. That's when the game will become available. It was supposed to come out a little bit sooner than that, but ultimately they hit a snag with the multiplayer experience, and the developers really, really wanted to fix it before it went live, and I respect that. I will see you all later. If you like this video, don't forget to hit it with a like. That's the best way to help the channel out and keep me in business, make sure I don't go anywhere. And if you wanted to hang out live, we will be streaming this game at some point in the future at Twitch TV slash Gaming. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi-do, everybody.